Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly edit a swatch design in Illustrator. I'm using Illustrator CC and I'm just going to go over to the library of all the designs. The designs I'm using are Arabic designs or Arabic inspired designs. They're not really Arabic designs at all, but uh, they look sort of Arabic like. And I've created these and these are on my site, Graphic Extras, and I'm just going to quickly edit one of them. So I'm just going to Select it there. Just, oh, I could select a couple of them. There's a whole selection of designs that you can see via this library of swatches. So I just click those. And now, once they're actually there, you can actually edit them once they're in the actual swatches over here, library. So I'm just going to double click, quick and simple. And as always, it's just way too big. So just navigator, I always find this going backwards and forwards size. So resize that so you can actually see the design and there you have it you've actually got the design and these swatches are using a tile type of hex by column now of course you could change that if you wish you can also change the color of course that's the one thing about the beauty of the pattern editor once you've actually gone into it you can also go via obviously the object and there's the pattern there pattern editor right you can actually change the color of the design so i'm just going to turn them into red so straight away as you do that you can actually see all the design saved turned into red now I think right, I love this design so I can actually go to save a copy so I can just save a copy click OK and immediately you will see the copy has been saved there and of course now you can use it for future designs of course you can actually modify the actual path so I just quickly select those and I can resize actually resize and it probably is going to actually destroy the Arabic nature of the design but you can sort of tweak it and play around obviously with different designs you don't have to go along with the same design as that the initial design so there's a another design you think well okay I like that one save a copy and quite a lot of my designs I work on this way sometimes I go through it I think yes a, a simple design you can produce five ten really nice designs just by using that and of course you can do various things like overlaps you can change the overlap as well as well as the height and and of course if you decide you don't want hex by column you can actually go and these designs obviously are hex designs but you can go to grid and you can use that or you can use the good old brick by row as well and again you can actually resize that you can move this design move part of the design you can recolor part of the design so I'm just going to go for orange there besides that and you can add another so I'm just going to control C and I can actually add another hexagon design there so there's numerous ways of editing a pattern and I'm just going to save that as well save a copy click OK and actually once you finish once you've gone through all the edits you can actually exit out and you've got a selection obviously of designs that you can now use. I think. I'm just going to quickly go and edit another one. So there's another design there. Bring up another one, and again I can say recolor it. Ah, recolor it again. I think yellow, green, maybe a red there, and so on, so on. So it's virtually an infinite amount of possible pattern designs you can create using this pattern editor in Illustrator, in Illustrator CC. Hope you found this quick tutorial of interest and you'll subscribe to Graphic Extra's channel. Always adding many new channel uh, videos to the channel. So uh, thank you much.